Hi guys! Today you're just going to be seeing my hands because that's what kind of week it's been and I want to make sure that I get this video posted and I really need to do it all in one take so let's get started. I've just pulled these cookies out of the oven. If you could have like heat o vision then you would feel the heat coming off of the pan. Hence I'm not touching it. Um, I have been watching the Screen Queens um, and really enjoying it and one of the episodes, I think it's the Pumpkin Patch episode, then Chanel number no. five um, makes toenail cookies and they're cookies in the shape of a heart with her toenail shavings on top. And I thought that that would be really clever and lots of fun to make so let's get started. So I went ahead and just cut out sugar cookies out of Pillsbury dough um, and just put them straight out in circles. I know, they're not in heart shapes. How do you fix that, Sam? Well, I actually learned this trick from Hey Kaylee, and I really like it. You just go ahead and put the cookie dough out there in circles, and then you take your actual shape, whatever you want to use. I have a small one here also um, that I'm going to use out of this one, and you just go ahead and you cut it after you cook it for most of the time or all the time, and w right when it comes out of the oven when it's still warm. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to... And then it comes out as a really nice shape instead of this one um, over here, this little one here on the side, looks like a circle, but I actually cut it out on the cutting board and then put it on the cookie sheet. And it um, is not very much in the shape of a heart anymore at all because it's sort of expanded out. Um, I can actually, oh wow, I can still even fit that one on there too. So if you want to actually have cookies in the shape of your cookie cutter, I really highly recommend doing this. You just go ahead and just cut them out into a quarter inch or a little bit more um, like the recipe says on the back of the, like I said, it's hot, 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 um, like it says on the back of the roll. You just go ahead and cut them into shapes. Yes, I understand it's not cooked all the way. That's okay. Right now, I don't want this cooked all the way. Um, all right, and as you can see, I just wanted to cut away one of them so you could sort of see. It's in a very nice shape of a heart, and it's only partly cooked, and that's what I want, partially cooked right now. So I'm going to hold those up for you to see even better. So as you can see, they're still a little soft. They're still sort of cooking right now, and that's fine. It's exactly where we want them. So I only put it in for about 10 minutes. The full cooking recipe... The full cooking time is supposed to be 14 minutes, but I want to take my toenails, aka almond slivers, and put them on here, and I need them to be just still a little bit uncooked so they'll actually stick. So we're just going to put those on there like that, and oh, my finger dented them. And then I'm going to stick them back in the oven for about five minutes or so. Um, now you could also get like the almond slivers, um, like the thin pieces that have been pre-cut. Uh, or if you like the way these look, you can use these. Um, this one you can see is kind of round. Let's just cut him out with the actual one. There we go. Oh, as you can see, he's starting to harden up a little bit. Pop that one out. There you go. He's a little heart. Um, but since he was smaller, he's already started just kind of cooking. I don't know if those toenails are going to stick to him as well. Or her. I don't know why the cookie is a he. Get that off there. Alright. And then, one other little idea that I had, because it was the pumpkin patch episode, and so it was kind of a Halloween-ish episode, I thought about... What if you have bloody toenails or just red toenails in general? Um, you know, like she's painted her toenails red and then she cuts them, cuts the toenails, the sh clippings off. So there you go. So those are red toenails shaving cookies. So these are Chanel number no. five's toenail cookies from Scream Queen. Um, I think that's like, I don't know. I just looked it up before I started talking. So episode five or so. I believe. The pumpkin patch episode. I think that's right. Please in the comments below correct me if I'm wrong. And there you go. So now I'm going to stick these back in um, and let them cook for just a few more minutes. 
Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty ingenious. And they're staying on there, so that's good. So I took them out in time. Um, if you want to know what I did, I actually just took some assorted food coloring, the red, and just sprinkled it on there um, and mixed it up there. I'll just sprinkle a little bit on here. Just sort of mix it up there until all of them are already sort of getting the color. Um, and then the batch that I'm actually using, I let sit overnight, and you can see how nice they've taken the color. So you might want to do that if you have the time, just let them sit overnight. So I'm going to stick these back in the oven and let them cook for the next 10 minutes or so. I'm sorry, the next 5 minutes, and then I'm going to scoop them off and let them cool and enjoy me some toenail cookies from Screen Queen. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, leave a comment below, and yeah, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe next time, maybe next time you'll actually get to see my face, because it's such a glorious thing. Bah ha ha ha. Check out my cool nails. They're all shiny and black.